1951 e il 1955 le lancia niente di successi diversa da tutte quelle che si facevano dieci anni fa Giugiu Giugiaro ha sviluppato per la lancia Delta una linea a due le ricerche sono allo stesso tempo vissuose e per del cantare un abito creato su misura sempre la più veloce, la più maneggevole e soprattutto la più resistente più vicini ai vostri desideri Buongiorno. Well then, good day, good morning to you all. And welcome. How are you? It's been a while we haven't been together. Last time we met in May and uh, you probably remember we were at the Style Center in Turin. It was a great event, as I recall, and uh, there were lots of Italian journalists, and for the first time, uh, many journalists from abroad as well. If you remember, we'd uh, talked about our 10-year strategic plan, which had been approved by the Stellantis board. And I described uh, back then what Lancia's role is within Stellantis' Dare Forward plan. And there were five main points. Uh, let me recap. First of all, quality. Quality in everything we do. Together with Alfa, Romeo and DS, we want to strengthen a Stellantis premium offering in Europe. Second point, electrification. As of 2028, we plan to offer a 100% BV sales mix. Third point, sustainability. Already with the new Y, so early 2024, at least 50% of all the materials that can be touched in the passenger compartment will be environmentally friendly. Fourth point, Italy, yes, of course, but also five European markets straight away in the first phase and then gradually all the others. And last, fifth point, a new distribution model. So first of all, we'll have to select our partners in Italy. We'll have a maximum of 100 sales outlets abroad, and there'll be a strong focus on online sales. So it's a solid, a concrete plan, a plan that's moving ahead very fast. But obviously, you want to see the new cars, right? Of course, I understand. It's only natural, but remember, we'll only be launching the new Ypsilon in early 2024, so it's still too early, really too early. But, but I really like what we're doing together today because, after all, it's a few months now that we've been sharing our journey, our decisions, and the results of all our work with all of you. And we meet every four or five months, so we can tell you where we stand, where we're at. We put a lot of uh, passion into this, and your feedback gives us great energy and enthusiasm. And that's what we're here for today. We're taking another step forward together. Friends, fans, supporters, some of you are seated here with us today. Others, a great number of you, are with us uh, via streaming, and I welcome you all with great pleasure. I'd say that uh, from today, we're starting with facts. Our official renaissance starts today. Today, we want to redesign our brand. And redesign is exactly the right word. Uh, one always says you start from a blank sheet. And we're starting from a blank sheet. And if you give a great designer a blank sheet of paper and a pencil or give it to a great group of designers, well, that's where the fun begins. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Jean-Pierre Plouet and his team of designers who are the real stars of today's event. Bravo to you all. 
So, welcome to the Lancia Design Day. After all, every time we've met recently, most of your questions were about uh, design. What will the new Lanchas be like? So, together with Jean-Pierre and his colleagues, we're going to answer all the questions we haven't answered so far. The answers we were a bit vague about, or sometimes we changed the subject, or sometimes we didn't want to answer. Uh, perhaps we won't be able to answer all of them, but let's get started and see what happens. So one of the most frequently asked questions is about our positioning. I can say that Lancia is the brand of Italian elegance, but you've often asked me in the past, what does Italian elegance mean? And I'll answer that with a question. If you had to define what uh, Italian elegance is, were you to define it with one word, with just one word, what's the word you'd choose? What word would you like best? If you had to choose one single word to describe Italian elegance, what word would that be? One word to describe the touch, the sight, the sound. One word capable of surpassing time, no matter what fashion is in fashion. No matter what music the world is listening to. No matter what car everybody's willing to drive. Be brave. Dare to choose one single word. Try to encapsulate such an ephemeral yet solid concept. The equilibrium between man and nature. Between over 2,000 years of history and beauty. Just one single word. Italian elegance is emotion. The emotion one feels uh, faced with a Michelangelo sculpture or at the end of a beautiful Fellini film or while one's looking at the beautiful scenery of the Tuscan hills. And it's the same emotion we feel here today in this beautiful great gallery in this amazing palace. And so who better than the director of the Regia di Veneria can inspire us with even more emotions. Ladies and gentlemen, Guido Curto. So, first of all, Guido, thanks for your wonderful hospitality. We really feel at home here. Thank you. Thank you for having chosen the Regia di Veneria on this uh, important day for Lancia's Renaissance. As we were saying earlier, Guido, uh, Italian elegance can be defined in just one word, emotion. Is there a single word that defines the Regia di Veneria? Yes, the Veneria Reale is thrilling every day for visitors, but also through its events that are organized here every day, just like today's event. There's another thing that perhaps makes a similar Guido. We like to call Lancia a progressive classic brand. We're very much linked to our history, uh, uh, but at the same time we're progressive, uh, not only classic, because uh, we look to the future with great ambition. Is this a comparison one can also made with uh, the Regia di Veneria? Yes, absolutely. We consider the Regia di Veneria a Baroque classic. Actually, when it was built, the Regia, uh, the palace was considered very modern and innovative. Turin back then was the city of modernity already in the 18th century. On the Grand Tour, it was the last stop of the Tour of European uh, capitals after Florence, uh, Venice, and Rome. Uh, visitors would come to Turin too, and the Vigilinarias always looked to the future. Restoration work was uh, carried out uh, to make the Savoy history more contemporary and to make the palace a place that one can experience, not just to visit. And we say that history can be experienced here as a part of a journey between history and modernity, past, present, and future. 
thank you again. Thank you again, Guido, for opening the doors of this wonderful palace to us. And thank you for the emotions it provides us today. Well, back to your questions. There's one I've never really wanted to answer. I've always hid behind a nice no comment. And the question was, are you going to change the logo or is it going to stay the same? Well, yes, there is a new logo and you are the first to see it. So we like it, we really do, and so I'd like to introduce the person who created it, Teresa Mendicino, Global Brand Designer at Lancia. Hello Teresa. So let's say something about the process through which you developed the new logo. Well, as you know, we started by creating the desirability codes for our new brand identity. And in relaunching a brand as important as Lancia, we decided to capitalize on our glorious past, knowing that we had to make this brand desirable in the future as well. So first of all, we studied all our past logos and we really analyzed them one by one and found our main source of inspiration in the 1957 logo. We chose it for its formal simplicity and also for its modernity. Then we carried out an exercise. We created an exploded view of the logo and highlighted all its constituent elements, the symbols of Lancia's nobility. And we decided the new logo should contain them all, the shield, the steering wheel or circle, the flag, the signature, and the lance or lancia in Italian, which we chose to be asymmetrical uh, to add a touch of eclecticism. Then we defined the style, the way to bring all these elements together. And we looked around a bit to identify current trends and decided to step away from the flat design that everyone seems to be using now, especially in the digital world. So basically, we chose a balance, a balance between minimalism and lavishness. And we created this exquisite jewel that's going to be the hallmark of our new cars. It's going to be the logo that we'll use on the new Ypsilon, the new flagship, and also the new Delta. So it's not one logo, is that right, but two. Yes, yes, Luca, we didn't stop at the logo only. We also designed a new Lancia signature, a new script. And to find the right font, we took inspiration from another area of Italian excellence, which, as you know, uh, is an area in which we have and will continue to play a leading role, and that is fashion. And looking around, we realized that while some brands have adopted a more minimal approach, others have kept a more classic, graceful signature as if it were handwritten. So there's no single rule. But Ancha, as you said earlier, Luca, we have a two-sided progressive classic essence. So we really had to find our own course to achieve perfect balance between our more classical glorious past and our contemporary pure and enduring more progressive style. To achieve that, we created an original font a font that is unique to us. So yes, we have one brand, our brand, and it has the advantage of two graphic designs, two graphic expressions. We have the jewel, which will be used in a very select way and which will be the hallmark, the distinctive mark of our cars. We also have the elegant script as the signature of the cars. So it's a signature we'll be using also in all our forms of communication. So a new logo, in fact, two, but there's more, isn't there? 
<laughs> yes, indeed, because to relaunch a brand in the premium world today, one logo or two actually is not enough. We have to use our codes in every element of our communication and identity, so we really have to apply them to everything we do. And today, uh, we'll give you some examples. Let's have a look. Well, obviously, we've got plenty to do, don't we, over the coming 12 months? Yes, absolutely. So thanks for having come today. Thanks, Teresa. So, Italian elegance, new Lancia, new logo, new identity, new network, as you heard. Plenty to do now. Let's go back to the questions and raise the bar a bit. Another question I've always shied away from. What will the new Lancia models look like? Let's talk about that with Jean-Pierre Plouet, head of Stellantis Design and head of Lancia Design. Jean-Pierre. Hi, Luca. Hi, Jean-Pierre. How are you? Fine, fine. Well, if you agree, uh, I d do as we usually do at work. I'll speak in Italian, and you'll answer in French. Nobody knows how we do it, but we always understand each other perfectly. Now, I remember the first times we met, and you suggested that you might personally be in charge of Lancia Design. I was delighted, but I immediately set a condition. I said, okay, but Lancia has to be designed in Italy, so I needed you to be here in Italy. And you liked the idea, you liked it so much that you actually moved to our wonderful city of Turin. And from what I understand, you're pleased. <laughs> Are you pleased about that uh, decision? Yes, Luca, I love Italy, I love its lifestyle, but above all, I love the timeless modernity of its design. When I was a kid, I was crazy about science fiction, UFOs, cars, in particular the futuristic prototypes of the Italian automakers. In the 70s, the world of car design was at, at its most avant-garde in Italy. In fact, the most beautiful, most emblematic cars were, in fact, Italian. And I grew up with a Carabo and a Strata Zero in each of my pockets. Then I started my career as a young designer. I started to create my designs and my concept cars here in Italy under the eye and influence of my mentors and idols, great automakers, greats like Bertone and Giugiaro, Gandini or Leonardo Fioravanti. And returning here to Italy to head the Renaissance of Lancia is really for me a dream come true. 
Well, earlier we were talking about Lancia as a progressive classic brand. Now, uh, will the Lanchas we're now designing be more progressive or more classic? Well, as you know very well, Luca, my heart swings between heritage and modernity, but my spirit as a designer has always been focused on the future, and I truly believe that the renaissance of Lancia requires modernity, technology, but also respect for our DNA and our glorious heritage as Lancia. In a world full of ideas and many too many objects, our heritage is a powerful differentiating asset. It's our soul that can create new, iconic, emotional Italian design. And Luca, in the case of Lancia, we're lucky enough not to have to choose between classic and progressive because our design will be both at the same time. The elegance and the purity of volumes of an Aurelia and the modern radical approach of a Delta or a Stratos. Lancia is grace and character. It's progressive and classic, as you'll be seeing shortly. That's great, Jean-Pierre, but you haven't answered everyone's question. Everyone wants to know what the new launches will look like. Well, let me suggest the following. How about seeing something more? What do you say, Luca? Beautiful, beautiful, Jean-Pierre. I think these two words are becoming increasingly important for us, pure and radical. Yes, it's true, Luca. Purity and radicality are becoming two really important concepts for lunch, but actually to design our future. We started from the brand's roots, from the excellence of Italian style in all its dimension. That is furniture design, fashion, and architecture, too. And it's especially Carlo Scarpa's work uh, that was a source of inspiration for us, for our future lunch design, which we want to be timeless, durable, and unique. And his his architecture is pure and radical, and just like his architecture, our designs will be built of pure volumes that will be basic and iconic shapes and lines, such as the circle, the rectangle, or the triangle. Our new design language envisions a lunch a space uh, that uh, has a radical approach that breaks with the typical automotive language, and this is as true for the exteriors as it is for the interiors. We will design uh, focused on the quality of execution, attention to detail, and research of new materials like the creations of Nanda Vigo and Bellini's work. Our technology will therefore never be concealed. It will be precise and effortless, always an expression of form. And to embody the Lancia tradition, we will use a strong color block approach with a choice of premium materials. That's great news, Jean-Pierre. That means that uh, we can have the headline of a new Lancia about to create a new design language for the future. Of course, Luca, and it's called Lancia Pura Design that stands for pure and radical. Well, Jean-Pierre, that's all very interesting, but come on, you're still not answering the most important question. Our guest joined us here today to know what the new launches will look like. So if you agree, let's all move into the next area to find out something more. So, you wanted to know what Lancia's future will look like? Ladies and gentlemen, here is our future.
Signores, signori. Ladies and gentlemen, it's called Lancia Pura Zero, and it's our design manifesto for the next hundred years. Over to you, Jean-Pierre. Lancia Pura Zero is the ultimate expression of Lancia's pure and radical style. The elevation is built with the uh, arched line that's typical of the Aurelia, and elementary and primitive forms uh, express function. For instance, the circular rear lights fit into a geometric shape that reminds us of the Lancia sports cars like the Stratos, and the circular roof is like a shaft of light that creates a unique consistency between the interior and the exterior of the car. The new Caliche is pure and technological, the ultimate evolution of the Lancia grille. It's reinvented in three radical segments of light. It expresses Lancia's rebirth as a zero emission brand. It's pure, iconic, technological, and precise, and it will always be associated with the Lancia lettering that stands proudly above the Caliche. So, Lancia is starting again from this, from Lancia Pura Zero to design our future range. In all three cars, starting from the new Epsilon that we'll be seeing in 2024, in all three we'll find the wonderful uh, fluid lines, the Caliche of Light, and the new front signature. We'll also find the new logo and the beautiful circular rear light clusters. So, Jean-Pierre, I think that at this point we've already answered most of the questions, and uh, thank you so much for having shared all this with us today. Well then, how's it going? I'm a little more open and forthcoming today than usual, so make the most of it. There's also another recurring question. Uh, You've often asked, when will we be able to see the new interiors? Well, Jean-Pierre has already told us quite a bit. He's spoken about uh, sustainability, technology that must be straightforward and intuitive. He also spoke about a car that's uh, more of a living experience than a driving experience. He spoke of a living room, a welcoming space, a space that's created to feel one's at home. And so who better than Cassina, which is a benchmark of made in Italy excellence in furniture design, who better to accompany us on this journey? So ladies and gentlemen, Luca Fuso, CEO of Cassina. Hello, Luca, and thank you so much for accepting our invitation to be here with us today. Thank you for the invitation and good afternoon to you all. Congratulations for the presentation because it really is uh, full of energy, which is what we like to work on to uh, to get our audience to interact more with the, our work. And so here I've really seen a lot of great energy. Thank you, thank you. You know I was in touch with you some time ago because um, Basically, our partnership was based in a very simple, natural way because, after all, Lanch and Casino are two companies, two brands that are based on uh, strong common values, Italian spirit, sustainability, tradition, research, and innovation. And that's why we've really found ourselves very much aligned. Well, yes, because ours is primarily an encounter of values, things in common. You've already highlighted uh, many of these features today. You spoke about eclecticism, uh, vision, innovation. These are all very important values that Casino shares with you. It's what we work on uh, on a regular basis. We also have in common a, uh, an interesting history, and so we work on memory, but also so the future, the past and the future. And then another thing that we have in common, I think, and this new project certainly shows it, is the focus on manufacturing excellence and the desire to experiment in new ideas, new languages, new materials, and therefore finding new paths succeeding in doing things that are innovative and uh, also uh, have a, a future. All these things we do, too, 
And we also have in common the great uh, themes of sustainability, the quest for well-being, and the desire to express today's new lifestyles in our work. Well, the first times we got together, you told us about the Casina perspective. It's a concept we fell in love with. Can you tell us something more about it? Well, a Casina perspective is Casina's vision, a perspective that combines products that have the most groundbreaking essence with modern icons to create welcoming environments uh, uh, following a code of uh, design excellence. Uh, what we want to do is uh, join innovation and uh, elements that are part of our cultural heritage, creating very welcoming environments that are at the same time unique, because thanks to our collection, we have a very ample set of options that we can combine. and. Uh, we succeed in the long run in having people feel very much at home. Well, uh, obviously, uh, at this point, people realize that we're working together on our interiors. And where's our partnership going to take us? Well, uh, we've started. Things seem to be moving ahead very quickly. And I think we'll go quite uh, far together. Actually, I can tell you that in about five months' time, Lanch and Casina will be together at the Milan Design Week. And there'll be a wonderful surprise for everyone. So meantime, thank you, Luca. Thank you for being with us today. But today's surprises are not yet over. And this because what we've been experiencing over these uh, last months uh, is uh, a historic moment for us. And so we decided to celebrate this and set it forever in Lancia's memory. So we've created a video, in fact, I'd say it's a short film, that contains the most important moments of our work over the last six months. Let's see a preview together. L'eleganza italiana è espressione di linee semplici, di linee fluide, understated, quelle bellissime di una Aurelia o di una Flaminia. Vogliamo fare del brand Lancia un brand rispettato nel mercato premium europeo. Vogliamo che la gente desideri guidare, desideri possedere una Lancia. Questo è per noi il rinascimento di Lancia. La renaissance de Lancia commence avant tout dans son histoire, dans son héritage, dans ses valeurs. Notre histoire doit être considérée avec le plus grand respect. De là découlent les éléments essentiels et fondamentaux de la marque. Io c'est radical, hein? Euh, un élégant son centaine. Ci piace definire Lancia un marchio progressive classic. Classic perché molto legato alla sua splendida storia lunga più di un secolo, ma progressi anche di più perché guardiamo al futuro con grande ambizione. Pura, c'est l'essence du nouveau design de Lancia. La synthèse de deux mots, pur et radical, qui interprète bien la dualité de Lancia dans son histoire et qui va nourrir son futur design. Nasce così Lancia Pura Zero, che è il manifesto di design su cui costruiremo la gamma futura di Lancia. Il nostro sogno è creare un linguaggio di design senza tempo, un linguaggio che possa durare per almeno altri cento anni. Allora, uh, grazie a tutti. Well, at this point, let me thank everybody for being here, for having been at our side over these months. But most of all, I want to thank the Lancia team, all my colleagues who are making a dream come true. So I'd ask you all to join me here so we have a, a group photo. Thank you.
Thanks to you all. Thank you. Absolutely.